Now this is just something I noticed when I was, uh, I don't know if you guys see this on the comments of literally anything you look at. Um, people are either so pro-China or against China or yeah. there's always a bunch of China, 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 right? Somebody acts like they like China. Oh, now we all have to hate this person. Now we all have to love this person. You know, I get it. What I don't get is how so many people don't realize how many companies are owned by China that are completely American. Like Ford? Like TikTok? Or We're about to go through six of them that I found Whoa. really, really interesting. Oh, six yeah. American companies yeah. that you mind. wouldn't believe is owned by China. Blow my Whoa. mind. Number four, blow your way. <laughs> and they don't believe Taiwan's a country. This is the first one. Um, AMC. AMC. Oh yeah, I knew that one. Knew that one. Yeah. yeah, because uh, that AMC down the street, we heard like that was purchased by a Chinese billionaire, but this was years ago, like pre-pandemic, Five years or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a crazy one. They made it. So if you're against China, don't ever put your butt in an AMC seat. You got <laughs> Regal Cinemas. You got all the other choices. We're all good to go. I think it's gonna make your American life pretty difficult if you don't want to associate with anything Chinese related. In this, everything day. is China. People really have to realize that's really fucking difficult. Can't use Amazon. Dude, everything's made in China. Dude, everything is. Yeah. Here's number two. General yep. Motors. GM. The all-American GM. And don't you let that we bailed them out in 2008. And then Just to sell to China. Yes. But GM isn't that like GM, Ford. Yep. Uh, Ford's not GM though. Hey, remember oh no, okay. Chevy, Silverado. Chevy, Silverado. Chevy Silverado. Yeah. Cadillac. 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 Yeah. Remember when we invaded Iraq and then the Jeez. oil contracts went to China? Oh, what? Damn. So I got a Chinese truck, huh? So the company itself, <laughs> GM, is not owned by a Chinese company, but it does rely with its on its partnership with Shanghai Automotive to stay profitable. Whoa. So you, you're you not really companies. sticking it to China or anybody yeah, yeah. by like buying American Isn't that funny how like people here are just like, I'm gonna get a good old American truck, but then a lot of the American vehicles now are assembled in Mexico. The parts sure, are made yeah. in different parts. Yeah, it's like the foreign cars American are more American. Truck. The most American truck is a Toyota Tundra. Because it's made here. <laughs> well, and then that's because foreign Toyota. cars, there's <laughs> laws of foreign, um, like German or Japanese, there's laws of how much they have to be assembled or, or like built in the States. Mm -hmm. So that because of those regulations, there's more domestic like work being done by foreign companies than our companies. Aren't Fords assembled in Mexico mostly? Yeah, a lot of the uh, American cars are assembled in Mexico. I mean, North America. Yeah. North America, yeah. that's cool. Here's another one that I really didn't know. Spotify. What? Does Joe Rogan talk shit on China? I haven't heard him do it, have you? He does, actually. He yeah. talks shit about everybody. But he doesn't say in like a malicious way, he just thinks he just doesn't agree with some of the practices and stuff. Interesting. I thought Spotify was like a, a Scandinavian company. I thought like it was a big tech company. Norwegian. Norwegian. You, know the, you know the Chinese group Tencent? Yeah. They own 10% of Spotify. Oh, okay. It's temper. Okay, so they're shareholders. Not controlling interest, but yeah, enough, yeah, yeah. enough for someone who's highly against China to yeah. have to delete their Spotify. If you're a American-tarian, <laughs> Like yeah. how a vegetarian, right? Like American. Because if you're a vegetarian, <laughs> yeah. right? You eat salad. Yeah. Someone puts bacon fat on it. You're no longer eating it, right? right. right. If you're an American, ten percent of Spotify is a lot of bacon, f American or uh, Chinese fat on your fucking salad. Or you should teach children, because it's always so easy to follow everything you're saying. So in this deal, <laughs> in this deal, Tencent bought ten percent of Spotify. Spotify bought ten percent of Tencent. Because the whole like purpose of that was that Spotify wanted to be successful in China and they were having trouble breaking in the market. So they formed that partnership. Yeah. Makes ten cents. Damn. Right. That's, That's a sense. dual so total. Just as a little reminder to everybody that hates when things are being sold to China, China can't buy anything that's not being sold to them. So two person deal. Oh yeah. So we as in the Americans own things in China as well then. Everybody owns something somewhere. In that's China the they can be seized by the government at any minute. That's the difference exactly. Sure. The difference is that is it really? And over here you can get bailed out at any minute too. But that's people true. don't who don't <laughs> understand there are a lot of people who don't understand markets though and yeah. just commerce like that. So they're just like, well this is a scam cuz you're going to sell it to somebody else. It's like, yeah, well they're going to buy it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking wild. Uh number 4 is Snapchat. Oh, oh that's what? very Chinese, yeah. Damn, they're dominating social media, huh? And TikTok. TikTok's all theirs, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe it's like a US uh, owned TikTok version, but it started with Douyin, so that means it definitely has some sort of like. Oh, they're in charge of it, I think. So, yeah. Facebook. Because wasn't Trump trying to ban TikTok for a minute? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tried. 
Facebook did offer to buy Snapchat for $4 billion, but they opted out. Instead, Tencent Holdings again, about 14% of Snapchat shares. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Who still uses Snapchat? You guys on Snapchat? I don't. You guys want to add We're all under an agreement to act like no one uses it so we can keep using it. Secretly. Oh, exactly. Is that the way? You sly guy. Isn't that not the silent? Fuck. You're such a sexy guy. They should have sold, bro. That's that's what I thought whenever guys are like, who uses that anymore? And they shift their eyes. I'm like, oh, you got do. it. Got it. You do. You dirty dog. You use it to jerk off. That's what that means. That's all I do, dude. Here's another one. Hilton Hotels. What? Not Paris Hilton's brand. <laughs> Don't tell me it's Tencent again. It's not. They it's H&A uh, &A Group, Chinese aviation and shipping giant. They bought 25% of it for wow. 6.5 billion. Ooh. That's a big percentage. Yeah. And two of the Chinese directors are on Hilton's board of 10 directors, yeah. Oh, wow. But they have been trying to sell their share for the past two years, no buyers. Damn. I want, wow, they're probably eating money, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All these ballers is doing the fuckings. And now for number six, which was the craziest thing. Tabasco. <laughs> Actually, sorry, so sorry. Not Let's get our guesses in. Yeah. What am I doing? What, cat <laughs> what category is it? Is it food and beverage? Currently. Let's just say it's a very, very general category. Does Bart just name objects in the room? Yep. <laughs> no. Oh, you're trying to do a Kaiser Soze on us? Is that us? what Bart does? What's a, what's Kaiser a... Kaiser Soze. Gen it's general? It's a very, very general thing, so... Uh, Don't say Tempur-Pedic. <laughs> Cause he'll throw his mattress away, dude. Yeah, check him. Sleep number. You I mean, think it's sleep number? Same. Okay. Sleep so number something that... Is it a household name? Yes, absolutely okay. is. Okay. Johnson & Johnson. Oh fuck, Kirkland would be Ooh, so crazy. Yeah, sure Kirkland would be nice. That's not the one on the list, Don't but I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Uh, Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> like, another thing I wouldn't be surprised The American about. flag making company. Mm. That's mm. made in China for sure. <laughs> 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 the Betsy Ross. Federal Reserve. Oh. No. I don't know if that would be public info, but... Is it media? Know. It's not media. Is it... <gasps> Walmart? Me telling you guys it's a very general thing is a huge hint. So the word... General oh, General Electric. Electric. General Mills. General Electric. No, General Electric? General Electric, but only the appliance division. So the washing machines? Yeah. Anything that GE makes as an appliance, yeah, they do that through China. Wow. China and Mr. Hire. You know Hire? H-A-I-E-R. Sometimes they have oh, portable, yeah. portable air conditioning. Yeah, they make ACs yeah. and stuff. They bought the company's appliance yeah. division. The whole division. 5.4 billion. Wow. Yeah. So who owns Sears, though? I think it's a band. <laughs> Sad people. <laughs> they should have sold to China. Century 21 owns Sears. <laughs> oh, <geez>. Exactly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But the products, they still make them in America. The ideas are generated in China, which is oh. interesting. Yeah. Huh. Well, they... They don't. They give the ideas to General Electric. But the reason it's such a, a different thing is because GE has been around since 1892. Holy shit! Probably the old one of the oldest companies that they has like Chinese American ownership. Yeah, Damn. it's pretty trippy. So I think it kind of like if you're gonna be a person like you said, what is it? American American Duh. American Duh. Dude, it's really know? freaking difficult. How can you do that anymore? Even if you're an anti-Chinese Italian, like Wait, that's yeah. super you hard. Live on Aren't iPhones made over there? Yeah, everything. Yeah, of yeah. Everything. the the so, thing yeah. you're using. What about Samsung? Yeah. Oh, everything yeah. we buy on Amazon yeah. is in China well, too. I mean, in terms of like the infrastructure of like cre uh, what's it called, textiles or like, manufacturing? Like, yeah, yeah, manufacturing. Like, all in China, right? You rely on them too much. You would have to do all domestic stuff. Stuff, which would be really expensive yeah. and really hard. Where can you get a handmade computer in America? What do you want a handmade computer, computer for? Because <laughs> I'm an Americatarian. I ain't trying to get no Chinese hands on my shit. I, I don't know if it needs to be shit. handmade for it to be American. So you can go to Antiques Roadshow in a couple years and go like, and they're like, oh, this is handmade. Yep. Americatarian. Wow. That's a handmade You got laptop. yourself a Susan B. Anthony from, original right there. <laughs> from the good old Silicon Valley. Was IBM an American company? Originally. Yeah. Who, who owns Panda Express? I think Chinese that's American, family. technically. Yeah. American yeah. Chinese. It's owned by Sansai Grill? Yum. <laughs> Yum brand. What are the chances? Because it's a Chinese dude, but I think it's Chinese American. Panda Restaurant Group. Well, I don't know if this is a Chinese person. His name's Andrew Cheng. His father's Ming Tsai Cheng. Hey, yeah. so they're, hey, they're yeah. Pasadena Originals. Let me tell you that, buddy. They are. What is up with you? Have you been dude? to the first store? Are you the tour guide? No, I used to train somebody that was from the family. Mm. Ah. He's been churning that dough. I've been churning that fucking panda ever since. Who else do they own? So you profited off of it. I Who profited off of it. Panda group. <laughs> well, have you ever had Panda Inn? No. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. You know about that? On Orange Store? Yep. It's like a... The high quality shit? Yeah, it's like the gourmet version of Panda Express. Yeah. It's like a sit-down restaurant. Is it a pretty good? Meat? 
That one? They got a few of them. It's I don't know if there's a Rosemary one. Have you been? Yeah, love it. Is it good? It's very good. It's actually quite good. Because they have a lot of the same stuff. A lot of the same stuff, but just higher quality. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the orange chicken's like better. Yeah, it's Whoa. better, yeah. It's good. They, yeah, used, to have it, they sure. used to have one at City Walk at Universal. That's right. Yeah. So uh, if you're an Americatarian, leave a little in the comments. And let us know if anybody out there has successfully been able to avoid everything Chinese. I would like to know how.